What's going on guys? Um, DeWalt was nice enough to send me two of these extra large DS400 tough system cases. Uh, this is the largest one they have. Um, I have one of these on my trailer. It's been on there for over a year. Withstanding all the elements, rain, snow, heat, uh, intense cold. Never leaked once with this. Uh, it's sealed uh, to protect it from, you know, water or rain or anything like that. And it's been absolutely amazing for me. Um, really not much more I can say about it. It's awesome. I have a couple videos I did a, a while ago praising how awesome that the system is. Um, you know, with the DS400, you got this little section for all your tools. I'll actually show you how I have mine set up, uh, bolted onto my trailer um, with all the different... Uh, tools I have in it for for my uh, business that I need um, But it comes with this tray You know you could put you know your tape measure or any kind of you know loose tools in here And if you have to just grab them quick to do a job or something you can just take this instead of taking the whole tough case Which is pretty cool, but um They're making so many uh, accessories to this system. It, it's you know, it's amazing. They actually have like this uh, this radio now um, actually came out probably a year ago, but I mean it is the sound quality of that radio is absolutely amazing um, I actually got a chance to play with it a little bit and It is just amazing um, But that that attaches to the top just like all the tough cases attached to each other So they're making new accessories for the system um, All the time in my opinion by far. It's the toughest and the strongest system on the market there's really nobody even close. Um, you know, Rigid kind of makes one. It's okay, but definitely not not in any class with this uh, DeWalt Tough system. But, like I said, there's the DS150, DS250. This is like the draw system. The DS300 and the DS400. Um, this is that radio I was talking about. It's Bluetooth capable. You see it sits right on top of, you know, the DS400 and I have it hooked up here to the DS300. Uh, um, it has an IP54 rating. Um, they also have these, um, the DS280, they're kind of just like these tubs. Um, you know, like I said, instead of, you might want to put one of these on top. Um, the tools that you kind of use the most that you can just take this right off the top of your, your system here. And, uh, you know, you're ready to rock. But, um, yeah, there are two of the newer um, parts of the uh, the tough system. I'm going to show you how, like I said, how I have mine set up. I have all of these pretty much. Um, but I definitely want to show you how I have mine set up on my trailer. Just to tell you the durability of this, um, this tool case. That's what it is. It's just a real tough tool case pretty much going to be the last one you ever buy um it's made that well and you know there's so many things different things you can do to it so uh, i kind of really want you to see that but you know here's the trolley system you know you can lock them i'll show you i have a, a lock on mine right here uh, a master lock um it's just the, the resin is so strong on this i mean i take that lock off on and off Pretty much every day, and there's not nothing's nothing's even gone. You know, if it was a regular plastic, it'd be gone by now. <clears throat> but um, yeah, this is a real the the, the DS uh, 250 is a definitely a real cool little um, draw system that you don't really have to open up anything. If you have it like on the trolley here, there you go. You could just slide out tools. Uh, instead of you know taking one off. To get to the other one it's a real real cool system but um yeah you know i can't say enough good things about it Let's see what else we got here here's all the different uh, configurations you can kind of do with it um that trolley is definitely a cool system um i don't have that yet but i definitely will be getting it it just makes uh you moving the whole system so much easier and you know if you have like three or four of them it's pretty much time that you got to get the trolley system 
it pretty much makes it like a um, a workstation, you know, a pretty much a maneuverable workstation. And all of them have uh, ratings, IP65, that's pretty much what everyone has. They also have this other one too, this is the DS100. This is probably the smallest one, uh, the 150. It's kind of set up like, uh, you know, the four major tough system uh, boxes, but this one also you can put on top. It's kind of like for your, your uh, nails, your screws, you know, your bolts, your washers, stuff like that. Um, just everything that you need to bring to a job site, you can put in or on the system. You know, so it's it's just it's one one of a kind out there right now. No one's really even entered this market to compete with these guys. So, you know, I, I really can't recommend you know anything else right now. But that's pretty much the whole setup on the DS400. Like I said, I'm going to show you how I have one of mine set up on my uh, trailer. And um, hold on. What's going on, guys? Just giving you a little update. Uh, I told you guys I was putting the DeWalt DS400 that I was going to bolt it down to my trailer. It's been on here for like three days now. Hold on. Yeah, it's been on for like three days now. No problems whatsoever. Um, I bolted it onto the A-frame, the, uh, the wooden planks I got pressure treated. Um, and, um, you know, with, uh, two and a half inch bolts, I got washers on both sides here and underneath with a nut, two and a half inch, three eighths, hex nut, hex bolt. Um, I mean, it's, it's on there good. If anyone's thinking about doing it, they need like an outdoor, um, toolbox. I mean, this thing's just kick ass. Um, it's waterproof. Just make sure, you know, these, uh, the DS400, all of the uh, DeWalt Tough System toolboxes have this air valve, except for the DS250, which is the draw system. The drawers don't have one, but make sure you have this real tight um, so water doesn't get inside. But we've had some rain the last two days. Today's the first day. Sun is out. And, um, nothing's gotten in which I kind of expected I'm a little worried maybe about these maybe rusting these metal um, you know clamps to close it but I don't think so I don't I don't know really what they're made out of um, you know I, I think hopefully the wall would put something on here that wouldn't rust um, but I mean I don't think they specifically made these for outside use but you know, those construction sites, it rains and all that. So, you know, they're going to get wet. But, you know, like I said, I don't know about, um, you know, fully outside how they're going to do. But um, I took a risk. I bought another one. So I got two of these. One's here and one's in my garage that I use for my normal stuff. But I was going to go smaller and get the, the, this is the extra large DS400. They make a DS300, but... There was a nine dollar difference, so I'm like, screw it. I'll get the uh, the extra large, the DS400. But that's pretty much it. I got it locked up here. Um, actually, I'll open it for you. Hold on a sec while I open this. All right, I unlocked it. There is the lock, master lock. And this is what I got in here, you know, lubricants for my machines, you know, stuff that bungee, bungee cords. I got these, which I, I couldn't believe at Home Depot, three bucks a piece. So I jumped on that, you know, you run into all kinds of obstacles when you're out. You never know what you're going to need. This hammer was like five, four bucks too. Um, you know, scissors, little screwdrivers. You know, this comes out, and then I got all my other stuff. You know, bungee cords, oil. 
This is a uh, two cycle fuel in case I run out. A lot of emergency stuff. This is my stuff for my gas. I got, you know, trimmer line, ear muffs, safety glasses, gloves, tie downs. These are for my machines, my steel, and my Red Max to get in them. But um, there's still plenty of room in here. I mean, it's absolutely huge. And I'm going to be putting more crap in here, I'm sure. But um, that's pretty much it. I don't know how the hell that came on loose. But anyway, I'll keep you up to date on how this does from time to time, how this is going outside. But no one has a video up on this how it's you know outside and everything so i figured i would uh put one up but there's everything but i'll keep you updated any comments or questions let me know and i'll see you on the next one